So, mistress requested a chat with Gail. Unusually polite for a god. I do hope it goes well. We've pissed off enough gods already. What's on your mind? I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no, I wouldn't change a thing. I'll be there tomorrow, as will you, I hope. I'd rather not face this alone. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. An audience with your goddess can go wrong. I should know. But do whatever you feel is best, Gail. When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. With pleasure. It's not often one has the chance to threaten a goddess and make good on it. Mistra won't be the one issuing the orders for much longer. She'll know exactly who's coming for her. This won't take long, and when I'm done, I'll be free of Mistra's yoke once and for all. of Waterdeep. You look well. No thanks to you. I wasn't expecting a summons, but then you did always prefer things on your terms. I did not come here to suffer a mortal's admonitions. Certainly not yours. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? You abandoned me in my hour of greatest need. I had no obligation to help you in yours. You still believe yourself to be so wronged. You always were stubborn. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. My concern was the preservation of everything. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave, a temporary measure. But with each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. Not happening. When I get my hands on that crown, I'm going to wield it. Carsus' powers will be mine. Crown yourself, Gale Decarius, 
and you will learn what it is to carry such weight upon your shoulders. If it does not crush you, I will. Sight weave. I had no idea. Do you realize what this means? The orb is no stray piece of ordinary magic. It is something entirely different. The nascent form of a new divine power. Of course, I couldn't control it. I was mortal. But once I reforge the crown, the power of a god will be mine to command. The orb will answer to me. So do I. Though I'm not sure that's the purpose I'll apply it to. Let me assure you, Karsai Weave has no more inherent evil to it than a, a child in the womb, or an axe half forged on the blacksmith's anvil. It is a tool ready to be shaped by its wielder by me, and you know me to be someone of reasonably sound moral judgment, don't you? God, it's refreshing to share the company of someone who sees things the same way I do. All we need to do is stay focused on the task at hand, defeating that elder brain. After that, you can leave the rest to me. Defying Mistra, declaring that he'll rule the Carsite Weave. <laughs> I didn't know Gale had it in him. I'm just so proud. Gale defied Mistra herself. Good. Not every goddess is deserving of such love. I would know. Gale plans to become a god now, does he? <laughs> and all because his lover spurned him. By the stars, it is probably not even the most foolish cause that has seen mortals rise to divinity. Oof. I've seen a lot, but never been threatened by a god. It sounded like Gale really meant it. He really wants to take control of the Carsite Weave. He really wants to be a god. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs>